part one, we took a look at the three types of Ecologic load balancers. Now let's take a look at how the automated performance load balancer works in a growing environment. Going back to our diagram here, let's say that over time, both of these arrays began to show high latency. This would be an indicator that they're overloaded. Perhaps the workload grew by more than we expected, or perhaps we had some new requirements put on the SAN that we didn't anticipate in the beginning. So the first thing that happens is we add a new higher performing array into the environment to try to address the performance issue. The capacity load balancer notices that the new array is empty, it's not using any of its capacity, and the two former arrays are both roughly half utilized. So the first thing that happens is the capacity load balancer will add some of the capacity load to the newer array that's just been added to the pool. Then the performance load balancer takes a look at latencies. The two original arrays are still overutilized with high latency, while the newest array that's higher performing is underutilized. It has low latency. So the performance load balancer will swap hot blocks and cold blocks between the lower performing arrays and the higher performing array until all of the latencies are roughly balanced. The net effect of doing this type of load balancing is that the more capable array, the new addition high performing array, gets more of the workload. Now let's take a look at a second example. In this example, the latency on both of the arrays is reasonably low, but the capacity has filled up. Perhaps this is because your environment has more static data than you expected, or the workload just doesn't require the disk technology that you purchased. In this case, when we add a new array to the environment, we'll add a lower performing array because we know we don't need any additional performance. First, the capacity load balancer will notice that the newest array is empty and will add some capacity to it. After that, the performance load balancer will see that the new array, which was lower performing, perhaps it has 7200 RPM drives, is overutilized. Its latency has gone up because it's really not designed to have hot blocks on it it will initiate the same sort of swap that we saw in the last example until more of the hot data is back on the higher performing arrays and more of the cold data is on the lower performing array until all the latencies are balanced. So in the two examples reviewed today, you got a chance to see how Equalogic is well suited to balance your environment with changing workload requirements and changing SAN resources. For more information about Dell storage solutions, visit us at dellstorage.com. And for a technical deep dive in the concepts that were reviewed today, search for TR1070 for a great tech report.